Hello there, Captain A Gaming is here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get overboard in the Moblex survival games. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Yes, you guys have heard it right. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to get overboard in the Moblex survival game. So, to get to get overboard in the Moblex survival games, you pretty much need three things. Let me tell you guys. You need a crafting table, you need an enchanted table, and you need an anvil. Why do you need all of these three things? Let me tell you. So, you pretty much need a crafting table, of course, to craft your items, and the enchanted table, of course, enchant your items, and we get the better items, and the anvil, maybe, to rename your stuff and look cool possibly so I don't know but I'll be showing you that guys as well so we all know that things spawn randomly in the survival in the survival games like for example that chest is there I switch lobbies I won't find it that's how it works they, they always spawn randomly what's the point of making it not spawning not to spawn randomly um, but I'm really, really, I'm really, really addicted to Blair's uh, Blair to the Mindblex uh, survival games and Mindblex in general. And during the time, this really, this like took me one year to recognize that there is some places in the Mindblex survival games that have the same thing over and over. So with the time, I didn't have to spend like all the game trying to look for a crafting table. I didn't have to spend like so much time trying to get enchanted table to get OB. I just know that there in that place like. Like for example, there up there, there's an enchanted table. I just go go to it and enchant my items and stuff, and that's how it works today. And that's how I'm gonna show you guys. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys that experience. So we all know that there's uh, not we all know, but there is currently six maps of the survival games on Milex or survival games maps on the Milex. So. Um, how this is gonna go is I'm gonna be going through each map, yes, each map, guys, and I'm gonna be showing you guys an enchanted table and a crafting table and an anvil as well in that map. So, um, I think we should just get right into it because I don't want to make this too long as long as it is. All right, let's get right into it, guys. All right, guys, so for the first map of the day is going to be Aztec Island so please guys don't get too confused about the locations after I speak and show you the screenshots guys I'm gonna get into an action part where I, I fly all the way to the location and show you exactly how to get to the location that I'm showing you guys in each map which is six maps in total so do you see this guy this uh, this house guys um, on the beach I'm this is an so I'm sure it's surrounded with beach but if you do recognize this beach and this house there's always into it a uh, enchanted table and a crafting table as well so you guys really gonna need this house and need to remember it as well also do you see this house beside the lava fall thing there's always next to the door an anvil and always into it an enchanted table as well also do you see that cave into that little hole there's always that fancy old enchanted table set up just sitting right there for you guys so let's get right into showing you guys the locations all right guys now for the first map locations which is aztec island all right now i'm going to be showing you guys the first enchanted place which is this house on the beach so you actually drop there look there's an example that enchanted table is not there if you guys switch lobbies you won't find this enchanted table however the enchanted table that i'm showing you guys you are gonna find it as well so this is the house that we saw all that we also on the screenshot however you just gonna drop from there or you just come all the way from here so you just enter this house and you find these fancy little things this there's an enchant there's an enchanted table and a crafting table as well now let's go for the um, second enchanted table place or the um, the place which is with an anvil and then an chant and the crafting table which is this this house I'm pretty sure it's here, yes, um, it's here, up here. All right, so, however, you're gonna come from spawn, you're gonna just come here on the on the stairs, and you're gonna find this house. There's an, there's an anvil here right next to the door, and there's a crafting table here as well. Also, on the other side of this side, whoops, that sky's messed up, all right, that's not a big of a deal. Also, for, um, 
for for this cave that we're talking about i don't know i'm just trying to roof the fox what uh, what, uh, what is this i'm pretty sure it's lab mode which is messed up so for the cave that is here uh in this little hole there is always this one enchanted table this enchanted table i don't know what's about it it's just spawned randomly here but this one is always the is always here with this pretty fancy setup all right so that was pretty much it for the locations for the first map all right now let's get you guys to the second map as well all right guys now for the second map of the day which is going to be fallout uh, do you see this these leaves that you always have to climb up have you ever been wondering why do you have to climb it up when you're not climbing it for, you're climbing it up for nothing we're climbing it up for a fancy enchanted table just sitting right there for your help guys here's a closer lock and that was it for the enchanted table and do you see guys in the middle there's always a crafting table sitting right there for you guys just to craft your items also do you see this little house um you always have to get into it because there's into it an enchanted table that you can always enchant your stuff into it by using it so but for this map there's actually no anvil i have been playing i have been playing this map for one year and never saw an anvil but if you do guys see an anvil there in this map and you make sure that it is always there please comment it down below so it would be helpful for others all right so now let's show you guys the locations for this map as well all right guys now for the second map which is fallout the location places are here so this is the first enchanted uh, crafting table that i thought that we all saw in the pictures and here you just walk from here from the spawn and you climb up all these leaves and you're gonna find this fancy enchanted table here also for that house that has an enchanted table you're just gonna come from spawn all the way across this road you're gonna walk on the street and oh there's a fancy player playing right there also you're gonna enter this house and you're gonna find this craft enchanted devil as i said guys there's no anvil in this map if you do find an anvil and it is always here please make sure make, double check that it's always there and comment it down below so it would be helpful for others all right now let's move on for the third map of the day all right guys for the third map of the day which is going to be kikushai islands so there's all do you see the middle of this map guys there's always on the top of the middle wheel if you come if you come to the middle and you look up there's all your you're gonna you're gonna always find fur enchanted table just sitting right there chilling for you guys just to get to get to go there and get yourself enchanted but please make sure that you no one sneaks up on you because you really don't see anything around you when you try to enchant so here's a closer look and do you see that house over there uh, on the right on the right side of the stairs that you climb up to get the supply drop there's always in this house a uh, two uh, crafting tables just for you guys to get your items crafted also do you see that house it is on the left side of the top uh, of the big stairs that you climb up to get the supply drop there's always in this house a uh, two anvils one on the right one on the left so let's get you guys let's show you guys the locations as well as all the maps all right guys now for the kikushai map which is the third map of the day you just spawn in the spawn you come to spawn you look up you stand on this chest and you actually aim there i actually can't hit it because i'm in spectator mode but if you do look up here there's a fur enchanted devils and for the anvils you can just come through here for the left side of the of the big stairs you're gonna find a pretty fancy one fancy anvil here and two fancy anvils here which is in total two well that was there all right <laughs> catch can't math <laughs> all right um anyways if you walk from a spawn you come into this house you're gonna find a pretty fancy enchanted table uh crafting tables as well yeah i'm starting to mix it out because i'm just saying crafting table and will enchant the table that's it <laughs> all right now for the fourth map of the day let's get it to you guys sean 
Alright guys, now for the fourth map of the day, which is going to be Bremel, which is a recent map that recently have been added to my place. Always, there's always a four enchanted, uh, four crafting tables in the middle just waiting for you guys, just to get come there and get your, your items crafted or whatever. You're gonna just click on them and you're gonna get your items created. But do you see this this like fancy setup on the big of the hill you're always gonna climb up to it and you're gonna find this fancy enchanted table setup and you always can get yourself enchanted anywho for the anvil you see this big mountain there's a cave into it if you into if you do enter this cave you're gonna find just two anvils just sitting right there for you guys remember guys these anvils aren't Everything what I'm showing you is not moving. Please, I don't know if keep mentioning keep mentioning it, but I want you always get to recognize what kind of experience I'm showing you guys, which is like like barely someone knows what I'm showing you guys. So let's get to you guys. Let's show you guys the locations of these places as well. All right, guys. Now for the fourth map, which is the recent map that got added, which is Bremel. There is always at spawn for crafting tables however if you want an enchanted table you can just fly you can just follow this path over here go all the way up with the path over here you just walk over here there's actually no path here so you have to come over here by yourself if nothing leads you but you do find this fancy setup of an enchanted table you get yourself enchanted and everything now for the anvil right so the anvil was there enchant the crafting table kit tables were here in the middle and now for the anvil if you guys follow the path here let's just get it started you guys follow the path here you're gonna enter this cave and you are going to find this anvil two anvils here all right that was pretty much it for the fourth map and let's get right into the fifth map all right, guys. Now for the ver for the for the Reverton Castle map, which is the fifth map of the day. Um, do you see, guys, the uh, the entrance of the castle from the bridge side? There's always a plenty lots of anvils just sitting right there for you guys. Also, do you see this uh, this house and that house on the left, which is decorated by anvils? You can also touch them, and you can also or you can also enter this house and find an anvil in it. How the, uh, however, you can just stand here and just click on the anvils as well. But for the for the crafting tables, do you see guys at the entrance of the opposite side of the bridge map? On the other side of the of that entrance, there's always that house on the left, on the right. Sorry about that. There's always in this house uh, enchanted uh, crafting table. But do look closely on this picture, and you can recognize that there's in the in the corner, in that corner of the mountain, there's always a plenty lots of uh, crafting tables as well, just sitting right there. Anywho, however, I did never found a permanent enchanted table in this map that like an enchanted table that is always there. But that doesn't mean that it's impossible to get yourself enchanted in this map because sometimes they do spawn randomly. But what I'm showing you guys is permanent, like which is that always sitting right there, like even if you switch lobbies. So, however, if you found any of these enchanted tables that I'm talking about, please double check it or third check it or fourth check it and please comment in down below so it would be helpful for me and for others as well. Now let's get you guys shown the location as well. Alright guys, now for the fifth map which is the Virtum Castle. The anvils are outside this, um, outside the castle from here this side. There is little lots of anvils all the way up here on the bridge and now for the enchanted tables you can find them all the way on the opposite side which is this side you can find them in this house or in this house you can find it here or in this little um in this little corner here however i know also another place that there is this in this house you guys are gonna love that the house is nearby the uh the, um, the castle because also this house has an enchanted table i do not believe that there is one there no i do not believe is there no there is not all right 
Um, however, let's fly all the way to that location. So you just follow the bridge or just cross that um, that water bridge there and you just come all the way over here. You're gonna climb all the way these stairs and you're gonna find uh, this house that is decorated out of anvils. You can stand just over here and you click on them or you can just um, if you are not if you are nearby this area i mean but i prefer to go for the ones nearby the castles uh, the castle you can find you can see that one through that i can't actually open the door because i'm in spectator mode but you can see it just sitting right there as i showed you guys in the screenshots all right that was pretty much it for the fifth map now let's get to the sixth map and the last one as well all right guys now for the last map of the day which is going to be shattered kingdom um, do you see this guys? Uh, do you see? Do you guys see that little uh, tower over there? There's always a enchanted table on top of it. If you do climb the stairs of it, you're just gonna get yourself here, and you can find this enchanted table just right here. And if you do recognize this windmill beside the farm, there's always inside this windmill a five anvils just sitting right there for you guys as well. Also, for the crafting table in this map, you can always find it at the center. I know that sometimes it can be confusing, but if you do play and remove the leaves here and there, you can find it as well. It is always in the center. Also, another location for the enchanted table in this map, which is, do you see this little, little tiny tower that get crashed by a rocket or something? You can always uh, climb on the leaves and find this enchanted table as well. All right, Lauren, let's get you guys shown the location and yeah, I hope you guys have had found it helpful. All right, let's get to the locations. All right, guys, now for the last map, which is the last map of the survival games, which is the sixth map of the day, also called as Shattered Kingdom, we can always see this enchanted uh, crafting table Oh, whoops, I just debuted to player by mistake, but you can always see this uh, crafting table just over here at the middle. You can, however, just break the leaves from any side you want. I actually can't break anything because I'm a spectator mod, and you can find it just right there. Also, if you want to find an easily enchanted table, you can just follow the path over here, and it's right up there, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to be showing you guys the actual way. Just, just fly up here. Oops, someone just died over here. All right. So you just climb all the way up here and you can find it right in your face. <laughs> all right, so um, now for the anvil, uh, for the anvil part, uh, I believe that it is here, here there is the enchanted table. All right, now let's show you guys this first. So however, you can just walk from here, follow all the path from here and go all the way off the road and you can follow the path follow 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 it follow it and now we're gonna get out of it and come here you can see it up there you can just do this wait i wait is ah right you can just do this and you can do this and this you're just gonna find it right up here now for the anvils part you can just come back all the way to middle and you're gonna find it at the farm side which is here you're just gonna come here you're gonna do a yolo jump over here i don't actually just like it's going around because i don't know i just feel you just feel like going yolo all the time all right so you jump all the way up here uh, over here and you get into this big windmill and oh well i never i never saw this all right looks like a real windmill and you can find these anvils as well over here all right guys now that was pretty much it for the last map let's get right into the intro Alrighty guys, now that was pretty much it for today's episode. I really really hope that it was helpful for you guys and you guys have enjoyed into it. Um, what I showed you guys is like one of the various videos on the YouTube about the Mandex survival games and I think it's the first one. However, this is a one year experience that I have just showed you guys and I'm just giving it away. I'm just giving it away just like that just for you guys because you guys are awesome. Anywho, I really really hope that this video is not against the Mablex rules. The purpose from video is not to break the rules or something, not to expose their 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 maps or anything. It's just to show you guys where, where stuff can be found. I don't think that's such an exposing if I just showed where the crafting table is and the crew enchanted table. I'm, I'm pretty sure if they don't want it there, they would have removed it already a long time ago. But I'll still have to look into that as well. But that was pretty much it for today's guys. 
for today's videos guys if you guys have any questions or suggestions or anything you would like to comment it or tell it to me just please do it in the in the comment section down below also for watching this from the mablex forums please comment it down below in a reply as well and yeah i'll be making sure to reply in that if not instantly in the next 10 minutes 30 minutes maximum one hour because i'm always active on youtube and the mavericks firms and i'm always looking towards hearing hearing more from you guys that was pretty much it please guys make sure to like the video and please subscribe for more content of this if this tutorial was helpful and if you want more as well yeah, that was pretty much it. Not gonna make this too long as how it is. Sorry if this video was long. I had to show you guys what I had to. But yeah, that was pretty much it, guys. I'm really, really, I'm also really, really sorry about my inactivity because you know everyone gets the hard whiles in his life, and currently I'm going through one. And uh, I'll, may, I promise, when I get through it, I'll come back with a daily, with a weekly videos for you guys. I wish I could do daily, but you know, weekly is the best for now for my channel situation so that was pretty much it guys captain a gaming was here and i shall see you all later on Peace out. Let me take a selfie.